Hi, I'm Streaky and today I'm going to give you the secret that speaker manufacturers don't want you to know or use. Okay, so you know that I uh, listen to a few pairs of speakers in my time. I'm actually at the moment in the process of finding some uh, main monitors. So you'll see that I'm ploughing through those. Um, and I've always got sort of near fields that I'm checking out, but I have a, a steady set that I, that I use mainly. Um, so I have been listening to loads of speakers, testing loads of speakers and kind of getting my head around what works and what doesn't work. And every speaker manufacturer that I have spoken to, which is obviously a few, um, have always said about their EQ in their speakers or for instance if it's ATC they're just they don't have any EQ they're just flat they are what they are and your room is the thing that needs to be flat to you know then get the best out of those but the one thing they all say and they all moan about is um, using things like room EQ or you know changing stuff and and I always was totally against room EQ. Room EQ we used to do it back um, in the sort of 90s where you would have a graphic equaliser you would then sling a mic up measure your room then move the graphic equaliser to where it needed to be to then um, you know try and get the room as flat as possible. So that kind of worked to a degree but Really, the sound of the graphic equaliser was then the sound of your room. And do you like the sound of that? And how does that match up against your speakers and blah, blah. So that kind of worked to a point, but it wasn't the best solution. So this is what you need to do to make, to get the best out of your speakers in whatever room you're in. Firstly, obviously tune your room and move the speakers around, measure it with something like fuzz meter so that you can get it as flat as you can. So you try, you know, you know, your, you know, you should know your room, try and get, try and get the speakers sounding as flat as possible, not too bright, not too, you know, bassy, blah, blah. And then the thing that I use, I've had a, there's a few systems out there, the three that I know of, there may be more. The, um, the first one that I tried was Trinov, which was amazing. Uh, that was at Metropolis and that comes with a microphone with a load of pointy stuff. It's quite expensive. I think it's about £3,000 for the unit. Maybe more, in fact. It might even be seven, but I can't remember. But anyway, that's kind of like a, a, un, a 1U kind of, it's, a, it's own computer that comes. It measures the room in one hit, and then it kind of, you put that onto your speakers and then they, they become flatter. Um, there's another one called Arc, which I used, but the measuring to, to measure it was really painful. You had to, it may have changed now, it was a while ago, but I had to make my own little grid to then measure it on the grid with a mic. And that was just so painful that it just didn't work. And then the one that I use, and I use on every pair of speakers that comes into the room, and this is something that you need to use on every pair of speakers, and I don't work for them, although um, I might put an affiliate link at the bottom if you want to click through just to give me some extra dollars, but um, it is Sonarworks. Now, a lot of you will probably be used to Sonarworks and use Sonarworks. Every speaker manufacturer that I speak to uh, slags it off for obvious reasons. They're, nobody wants to say that their speakers aren't flat, but it's not the speakers that aren't flat, it's your room that isn't flat. And I don't think I've ever come across a room that is totally flat, unless you want to spend a, a ridiculous amount of money getting yourself to that point, which really is an ongoing process that you will be fighting forever, I think. So if you want to get a set of speakers up in your room and you need to get working fast and you want to get them as flat so you can hear the speaker rather than hearing the room and hearing the problems you've got, it's a really easy way to you just move around with the mic in the places it says on the computer and it flattens your room. Now, there's ways to use it which you should try and get, like I said earlier, you should try and get your room as flat as possible, first of all, because then it's not going to put as much EQ on. You don't want it to be putting, say, 12 dB of EQ on because it's working too hard. It's about getting your room as flat as possible by diffusing or by, you know, um, you know absorbing the sound so that basically it, it's, um, it's not having to work as hard. So it's working at, say, increments of, say, 1, 2, 3 dB. 
um, up to uh, most I would I would think would be good would be about 6 dB but you want to be kind of just ones and twos and what it's doing really it's the phase between the speakers it works out and that's the massive difference for the stereo image works really well and it just it doesn't flatten your room because a flat room I don't think it sounds that great anyway you kind of want a bit of a balance to how you like it so there's a load of options in there where you can tilt the room a bit but really it just takes all those little lumps and bumps out out of the listening you, you're you're in a sweet spot you've got to be in a sweet spot so if you look at these pmcs i got behind me where i'm sitting now i'm in the triangle i'm just inside the triangle now that's where you should be measuring your sweet spot and it just gets that position really tight and really like clean and flattish so you can actually hear the speakers now the amount of times I've done this on different speakers because I'm trying out different speakers in this room to find the set that I want to stick with um, I need to get them going and I need to hear those speakers how those speakers should sound so this gets me there really fast and even when I've had people come in and set the speakers up for me and they think it sounds good and they think it sounds flat and how they should be I'll use Sonarworks and it takes it to another level where I'm like bang right that's how I hear it and you get used to the sound of not the sound of Sonarworks but it's just the sound of how every speaker should sound when they're at that kind of flattish point so it's just a really handy tool to have um, I really should be working for them shouldn't I because they're because uh, I'm really pumping them up but it's the one thing that I found that's really helped me and it's the one thing that most speech, speaker manufacturers should be setting their rooms up with. I don't know why they're not. It's, I get it because they want to say that their speakers are doing that but it's really not their speakers that are to fault. It is the room because it's, you know, it, the speakers are great and they're obviously been made to be as flat as possible in a, a conic chamber or whatever and, you know, and that's that's nice but I want to hear the speakers for the the quality and the tightness and the actual feel and the smoothiness of them or how open they are or how bright they are and the differences in the tweeters and I can't hear that if I'm just randomly have nothing to reference on so yeah give it a go check it out I think there's probably a free version to use it's definitely something that helps me out massively and there's loads of mix engineers I know that use it who don't talk about it and don't want people to know about it because it's their little secret but it's not a secret it's out there use it try it don't fight it it's something that as an older engineer you will definitely want to fight against because you'll say no 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 it doesn't I you know I know my room's flat blah blah give it a go tell me in the comments if you think it was good I really want to hear your opinion I want to know what you think I um and uh, and get a feel of um you know whether or not you think it is a plus or a minus really so um so that's it that's the secret that they don't want you to know thanks for watching uh please subscribe if you like this video please thumb it up please let me know in the comments other things you want me to talk about or any equipment you want me to review and um there is a discount code below for uh mastering with me and i will put a link to um sonar works which uh might have a little cheeky affiliate uh, bit on it but that's not why i've done this video trust me but um yeah until next time thanks for watching cheers bye